Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. High blood pressure is a common medical condition. It must be treated properly and on time. Delaying or neglecting treatment for high blood pressure can be dangerous. It could lead to heart attacks or strokes. Doctors often prescribe medications to keep blood pressure under control, but there are some natural remedies as well. Of late, some people have begun wondering whether apple cider vinegar is one of those remedies. And that's the question we're going to evaluate today. So let's first look at what apple cider vinegar is. We'll talk about its benefits and then we'll discuss whether it's got any potential to lower blood pressure. What is apple cider vinegar or ACV? First, it's made of apples. The makers start by crushing the apples. Then they add yeast to it. Apples contain natural sugars that the yeast reacts with and begins to ferment. The fermentation turns the apple juice into alcohol. Then they add some helpful bacteria to it. These bacteria ferment it even more. And this stage turns the mixture into acetic acid, which is vinegar. And this is how they make apple cider vinegar. Some ACVs have a murky substance called the mother. It's a combination of proteins, bacteria, and enzymes that stay behind after the fermentation process. Let's talk about apple cider vinegar benefits. Here are a few of them. Helps with weight loss. In 2018, a group of scientists from multiple institutes in Iran published a study. The study looked at the relationship between body weight and apple cider vinegar. It had 39 participants. The researchers divided the participants into two groups. One group took a restricted calorie diet and was the control group. The other group took 30 milliliter of ACV per day along with a restricted calorie diet. The scientists checked the participants' body weight and hip circumference after 12 days. The group that took ACV had shed more body weight during the time of the study. Thus, the study concluded that ACV works with a restricted diet to bring about a reduction in body weight. It lowers cholesterol. Another group of scientists from Iran published an earlier study in 2012 that looked at the effects of ACV on cholesterol. A group of 19 patients with hyperlipidemia, or high cholesterol and other harmful fats, participated in the study. They took 30 milliliters twice daily of apple cider vinegar for the study. The scientists repeatedly measured their cholesterol levels after 2, 4, and 8 weeks. After eight weeks, they found that bad cholesterol in their blood significantly reduced. There was a slight increase in good cholesterol as well, but it wasn't significant. Overall, the study concluded that ACV can reduce harmful fats in the blood. Lowers blood sugar. A recent study looked at how vinegar in general could affect blood sugar levels in diabetes patients. A group of scientists from Singapore conducted this study and published it in February 2020. They looked at six different studies that consisted of 317 participants. All of them had type 2 diabetes. They all took some form of vinegar during the study, and all the studies showed that there was a significant reduction in fasting blood sugar levels in all of the participants. This shows that the acetic acid in ACV may reduce blood sugar. So, can apple cider vinegar help lower blood pressure? There have been no study on humans so far that concludes that ACV could directly lower blood pressure. But there was a study on rats published in 2001. A group of scientists from Japan had conducted this study. They gave vinegar or acetic acid to some of the rats and separated them from a control group. They found reduced renin activity in the group of rats that took the vinegar. Renin is a hormone that plays a direct role in the regulation of blood pressure. Thus, lowering of renin may have reduced the blood pressure in these rats. There is still no evidence that the same logic will work on humans but ACV may indirectly help lower blood pressure by reducing cholesterol and body weight. Increased cholesterol causes deposits on the artery walls. 
and this reduces blood flow and increases blood pressure. Hence, lowering cholesterol can reduce blood pressure as well. Excessive body weight also causes high blood pressure. This has several mechanisms including salt retention and affecting renin activity. And so, reducing body weight can reduce high blood pressure. In summary, does apple cider vinegar reduce high blood pressure? Maybe, but a direct relationship isn't very clear. You may add ACV to your diet, but always talk to your doctor first. Be aware that apple cider vinegar may interact with certain supplements or drugs, including diuretics and insulin. This may contribute to low potassium levels. Otherwise, ACV typically doesn't have a lot of side effects, but it may cause problems in those who already have digestive issues. And don't replace your blood pressure medications with ACV. High blood pressure or hypertension is a condition that requires proper treatment and monitoring. So keep your doctor informed and continue to take your medications as directed. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.